Hi there, Karen from ediblewildfood.com and I'm at my grocery store. This location is absolutely incredible. It is April 11, 2021 and in this aisle I have trout lilies. The leaves are edible and depending on where you are, these grow absolutely everywhere on the forest floor. In this specific location, there's not that many, so I wouldn't take from here. But further in there, there are plenty more. Now, in this aisle here, we have motherwort. Motherwort is in the mint family. Technically, it is edible. It does not taste good. This is a plant that is used more medicinally than anything else, but you certainly can eat it. And this plant is now just entering its second year of growth. So later in the season, it will be about maybe two to three feet tall and will produce flowers and seeds. Going further down the grocery aisle, dandelion. And lots of dandelion. And those roots will be absolutely incredible. I know they will. <laughs> so I have to come back with my shovel because I am totally unprepared as this was a very rainy day and but I just had to come out. Burdock. First year burdock. These leaves are quite tiny. The roots are going to be quite small at this point. They will get bigger. And when you're foraging, by the way, be aware of your surroundings because you never know what could be around here. And deer as well can leave their deposits. I don't know if that could cause E. coli, but it certainly is reason for concern to be aware of your environment. And we'll go down here to this section of the grocery aisle. Mullen. Again, like motherwort, mullen is more recognized as a medicinal plant. I really have not ever wanted to eat the leaves of mullen. Have no desire to. But they are great if you're trying to thwart off a cough. Evening primrose. The roots of these right now are absolutely delicious. And there's a few more. Right there. And onward and forward in this wonderful grocery store. Because we've not had sun today, the Coltsfoot flowers are not out. But that's okay. I just recently did a video on Coltsfoot if you want to learn more about how to preserve this as a tincture. And I'm going to just swing around this way. Bitter Dock. Bitter Dock roots right now are also usable. You can make a tea. If you get roots that are thick enough, you can cut them into crudite type shapes so you can enjoy them with a dip. And do you remember what I mentioned what this one was? I won't say. But I'm sure if you were listening, you'd know. In here, Daisy Flea Bean. It could be the Pennsylvania th uh, Flea Bane. I'm not sure at this stage of growth. More dandelion, of course. And check out all this mullen. There is absolutely no shortage of it.
food everywhere. Thistle. If you were ever in a survival situation and had all the patience in the world, you could take those barbs off, eat the leaves, and most definitely the root. When it develops a stem, you can just shave off the barbs and eat the stem. The younger, the better in terms of taste. Oh, look at this over here. One of my favorites. And I'm going to take a little bit home. Catnip. Catnip makes such an, oh gosh, a magnificent tea. And, of course, I have to share it with my cat. Otherwise, there's trouble. <laughs> and here's some more. Look at that in there. Wow. Tons of it. Beautiful, beautiful catnip. And seeing as this is an area in which there's quite a bit, I'm going to take a little bit more. Cleavers. Let's see, there we go. Cleavers are an amazing plant. They help to purify the blood. They're fresh tasting, but these are too small right now to gather. And I think that's about it. Lots more dandelion, motherwort, mullen. So I don't know what your grocery store is looking like right now. Mine's looking pretty green. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and share if you like this video and please give it a thumbs up. Your support is truly appreciated.